Hey YouTube, this is Patriot Independence back at you again with another breaking news report. Uh, sorry I haven't been uh, uploading the past few days. I've been doing the prepper things, preparing the same thing you guys should all be doing. But I want to get into it with a report from the EPA. The EPA issues a terror alert. China, Russia, and Iran weigh cyber attacks on the U.S. drinking water and wastewater systems. This is, comes as an urban, urgent cybersecurity threats and vulnerabilities to community drinking water systems is being investigated by the EPA. According to the Biden administration's Environmental Protection Agency, hostile nations are researching how they can potentially launch cyber attacks on America's H2O infrastructure. According to the press release, Biden's National Security Council and Department of Homeland Security Cyber Security and Infrastructure Security Agency were the groups that warned the EPA. Then you got around 70% of the U.S. water systems are reportedly not up to par with federal cybersecurity regulations laid out in the Safe Drinking Water Act. Uh, this report, I will link it all down in the description below. And you got another thing here you got is the U.S. may face trouble powering the electrical grid. The North American Electric Reliability Corporation published a 2024 Summer Reliability Assessment Report, which details how power companies may face an elevated risk of insufficient operating reserves this summer. It possibly could lead to sporadic blackouts during extreme weather condition. It's all the more reason for you guys to be preparing you know have an alternative source of power solar gener you know generators gas generators you know electric generators with the like the power stations what have you you know this assessment it identifies the potential reliability issues of interest and regional topics of concern and i will insert some images of the areas of the united states that will face more likely face an elevated risk of insufficient operating reserves this is not good guys this is not good at all this you know the report went you know it said that there are seven key regions that may face insufficient operating reserves and energy this summer while under extreme demand conditions, specifically when the temperature is above average, causing large amounts of people to utilize their air conditioners. This is it's everything is going downhill. Supply chain issues are delaying some new resource and transmission projects, raising concerns that some people may not be completed prior to peak summer conditions wow this is not good if you can see you know you can see these images here you can see all the at-risk areas it's, it's, it's got to prepare guys you got to prepare and another thing is the government paid billions to walgreens and cvs to not fill and I'm going to use this term very loosely, the quote-unquote horse dewormer. You guys already know what the name of it is. I don't want to have the algorithm dox me or, you know, uh, not promote this video. You know, the question is, why did they do that? Former CNN anchor, Chris Cuomo, who pushed the government's deadly jab narrative and Shane, the unjabbed, admitted he is taking the horse dewormer for a, for a long uh, beer bug condition it, that affects 17 million Americans daily. Many believe 
it could be the cause of the beer bug by with the vet, uh, the jabs. Defending his use of the horse dewormer, Cuomo, showing no remorse, stated that the horse dewormer was a boogeyman during the beer bug. That was wrong. We were given bad information about the horse dewormer. The real question is why, he stated. Cuomo's admission comes too late for the millions of Americans who could have benefited from the horse dewormer as part of a treatment protocol for the beer bug. Cuomo now admits the government got it dead wrong. He seems less willing to admit the part he played in per perpetuating the government's lies in what has become the biggest story of our lifetimes. In cartel-like fashion, the U.S. government bribed private entities to push the experimental genetic jabs, knowing the shots cause serious injuries and even death, while blocking promising but unprofitable repurpose medications with high safety profiles that could have saved lives. Wow, guys. As we were all, people like me and other folks, were labeled as tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists over this stuff, now the truth is slowly starting to come out. This whole... This, this whole report, I will link it down in the description below. That way you guys can read the whole report. But it outlines everything. Everything. They even bought off hospitals and the pharmacies. Which were allocated a staggering $178 billion in federal beer bug relief money. They did it for the money, guys. It's all it was about. They wanted that money. This is insane. I'm glad I didn't take the jab. I'm glad I didn't, you know, my family didn't take the jab because we knew the truth. We knew the dangers of it. And unfortunately, for millions of, of Americans, they were blind to the truth. And it's sad because now there's so many people that are having heart attacks and strokes and other, you know, jab-related injuries. I know this video was a little short today, but it's just some of the news out there. I'm going to try to get another video uploaded either sometime later on tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh... If you can subscribe for more updates like the video share it get the news out there to people even take these links that i'm gonna you know include down in the description share that stuff out there man get people more aware of what's going on until next time stay safe god bless and just prepare 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 prepare